everybody, Chris here. Here's a Baldwin SF-10 I'm working on. And uh, I just removed the plate from the piano. And boy, this thing was like one of the toughest ones to remove. I had every bolt removed. And uh, when I would lift the plate, trying to lift it out of the piano, it would lift the whole piano in the air with every bolt and screw missing. So I was thinking, what is going on here? So here's what I found. Okay, so here's the underneath of the uh, SF-10 plate. And then look at that flange. They used an epoxy to mate the flange to the pin block. And uh, that's why it wouldn't come off. I had to break it off with a hammer. So I'll have to remove all that epoxy and fit the new pin block correctly. So that's that. And then since we got looking at the underneath of the plate, this Bolt SF-10 has an unusual feature. It has this type of uh, capo bar that has these little individual terminations and they're put in with allen screws and you don't usually get to see that every day so that's the underneath so it looks like they're made I don't see any wear and tear on that look at that See if I can focus in on that. Yeah. yeah, no wear and tear. How would you clean those up if they were highly grooved? I guess just file with anything else. But the problem is, is that this head right here, yeah, right here is not very low. So you can't file very much. And that screw would be in the way of trying to reshape that. So that would be a... That'd be a big challenge, so good thing those aren't worn out. Alright, so that's the underneath of the SF-10 plate. Just glad to get that pin block out of there. Alright, onward and forward.